I had written The Wolf of Snow Hollow a year before I had written the feature of Thunder Road. We got greenlit to make the film, but the script wasn't very good at that time because I had written it a year before I was a successful filmmaker. And I went, oh, fuck, and now I have to make this script good. And so I spent like the next six months just changing it and making it as good as I could. It was a much bigger movie. It was a $2 million movie, which was a dream come true that I got to pretend to be David Fincher for you know a month uh, in making this film. But it was also very difficult to make the film any good because there were so many different people around making the film. I had to answer to so many different people. It was very unlike making Thunder Road where I had complete creative control. This is scary. It's new. I never saw a body like that. It's a murder. It's nothing new. Treat it like a murder. My producer, Matt Miller, had worked on a film with him called Too Late, and he said, I think Robert would be good for this. And so he sent him the script, and Robert called his manager and said, yeah, I want to do this movie. And the manager said, but it's a werewolf movie. And he goes, yeah, I don't really care about the monster stuff. It's the stuff in between that I really like. He was such a nice guy, and he was just everybody's kind of grandfather, this kind of like mascot for the film production. And he was so nice and just really, really un unbelievable. We were planning on it being a much wider release, but then the pandemic happened, and so it was supposed to come out in March of 2020, and then it got pushed to October of 2020. And in some cases, that was really great because it was around Halloween in America, so so many people were watching horror films. Um, and because Candyman and Halloween Kills didn't come out, independent films like ours rose to the top. We called MGM a couple of times and said, the movie should be coming out in France. You could be making money, basically. France is such an incredible cinephile community, and they loved my last movie. It should be coming out in theaters. I, I had no control over how the film came out.